what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Mitos. Uh, back with another video. Got another project on my hands, guys. As you guys can see, your boy went ahead and uh, pulled the trigger on a Team Corrali Asuga XLR 6S Roller Edition. Uh, got this from Amazon. Decided to go with the roller because I wanted to go ahead and put in my own electronics. Um, check this out. This is your limited edition Cobra 8 combo with the 15-15-2200 um, kV motor in here. This is that gold joint. Um, I seen that these had restocked on uh, A Main Hobbies and went ahead and picked one of those up. Got this from Amazon. I uh, got it in a day. Also picked up um, a light bar for it. I don't know if it's going to fit. Maybe it'll fit back here. I don't know. Maybe. I may use it. May not. Uh, powerhobby.com. Got a servo. Um, spin tech or speed tech. Actually got this from um, eBay. This was from JJ Customs, I believe, or something, something like that. Um, this is a 46 tooth spool. They threw in an uh, extra set of uh, cups too. Diff cups, which is dope. This is their contact information. Check them out. And then I went ahead and went with the Radio Link uh, transmitter. This transmitter been out for quite a while, guys. Um, if you, you know, I've been rocking um, Spectrum D, uh, DX5C for a few years and um, I lost signal on like three or four of my rigs when I was at the community college running. And maybe it was a, a well, it was a lot of signal interference and just decided to go with something different, the cheap route first. Um, however, I do have another transmitter in route. So shout out to your boy, uh, Jay Mitch. Who I connected with and got a, a Radio Master MT12 that's headed this way. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run with this just on some of my rigs, just to test it out, be something different. And um, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, stop rambling, pull this out the box, go ahead and install the servo, and then uh, pull this out so you guys can take a look at that, and then um, start putting it all together. Let's get it. All right, guys, so here we have it. Um, I picked up the green joint. This was the actually the only one that they had available. The red and blue one was sold out um, in the US. So I went with the green. Um, this one is pretty damn big. Comparing it to like the Typhon 6S and the other buggies, even though, the, yeah, the wheels are much bigger um, as well. I went to um, Team Corrales US website and uh, ordered a clear body and the street tires. So those should be here someday this week. It's been shipped. So I'm gonna paint a body and I got some wheels for it as well um, online. And then, so here we have, let's see here. So here's the ESC. This is your Cobra 8. It's got the long extended um, sensor wire. Look how long that is. This is something new that they've been doing. On the ESC, you still get this, the connection wire, but you get this long wire um, as well. And then here's the can right here. Check this out, 2200 kV combo. I'm gonna go ahead and slap this in here and I do believe um, there was a fan that I have. I have a fan for this too, but I put it on my uh, Omni Terminator, but I bought another one and it's red. Give me one second. So yeah, this just guy here. Let me, let me open this bad boy up here really quick. This is a 3S fan. Put 2S on there, but it's a 3S fan too. There's a little kill switch button right here. See what I'm saying? 3S. 
or 2S on the other side. So it has both connectors for it. I got a red one. I figured maybe because there's red accents on the car or I may swap this with my Omni Terminator version. Pretty dope fan. It's powerful enough. So next thing up, next thing up, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, start just putting all this stuff together, guys. You know, um, install the spool, install the motor, and um, pull this plate out for the ESC to sit under. So this whole plate gotta come out so you can run the wires underneath to the um, servo box, receiver box. This is just like my um, Corrali Punisher that I got. Same same setup where well, I had to pull this out, run the wire, and then pull it back up. So let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll cut you guys back on once I got it all installed. check it out check it out time has passed and everything is installed Asuka XLR 6S with the 46 2 spur um, this pinion that's in here is actually a 21 tooth pinion I got a 21 tooth on there radio link 7 channel with the two antennas And uh, rocking the uh, three edge fan. Wow. Turn it around. There you have it. Velcro to the side. So I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Freak dog. Um, cut some holes in it on the side. Hey, 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 be quiet. Damn it. Cut some holes in it for the side so that my fan because my fan sit on the side like that, so my fan can breathe. That's all. Well, you you see it. No talking. Let's get outside. Let's rip it. 